this morning when I um, woke up, well, actually, I was already up. I had was scrolling through my Instagram page and I had saw someone had posted on their stories about their Twitter account being suspended. And I was like, you know, like, what's going on? And I find it very rare that your Twitter account can be suspended opposed to YouTube suspending your account. I find that Twitter doesn't act as fast on that as other social media platforms until today. So when I started to look at it, I'm like, okay, what's really going on here? If you don't know who this is, this is the CEO of Twitter and his name is Jack Dorsey. And what has recently happened over at Twitter can almost mimic what they're doing with YouTube. And when I say what they're doing with YouTube, I'm talking about as far as purging and everything. Goes. But when a person that I know was um, telling me about how they suspended his account, uh, maybe I think last year, or maybe a few months ago, and they didn't know why. I said, "Oh, that sounds like something YouTube would do." And um, then they created a new account. Then he woke up the next day and found that his account was gone. It was just gone, no explanation. And then I said, let me go over and check, you know, and see if my account is still there. My account is still up. And then what I did was I clicked onto my profile and I looked under followers. Now, last night, I specifically remember my, my follower count was like 2455. I went and checked it this morning and it was 2402. I lost over 50 followers from last night to this morning. Which means all those people who was on there got purged, which means those individuals created another account after being maybe suspended or banned from a previous account. And it got, I'm guessing it got linked somehow. And that's how their accounts uh, got, you know, thrown off. Now, you're probably wondering what, where am I going with this um, particular story? Well, remember when Alex Jones, was it last week, I think it was, when they said they were going to ban him off of all social media accounts like YouTube and Facebook and probably other social media accounts that he had? Well, all of them did ban him, except for one. That one being Twitter. Twitter put didn't ban him like they did the, one, the people that they just purged. They put him in a quote-unquote time out. Which means he's on a temporary suspension. The people that they banned, they're gone. Like, they can't come back. They can't even create a new account. Like, it's almost like it's stored somewhere where... It, and the thing is, even if they do create a new account, it's only a matter of time before Twitter will find out that, that it's them and they'll link it to a, an account that's now gone. So you let Alex Jones, who spills a lot of BS... And conspiracy theories stay up there, but you take a lot of other people off. And to make matters worse and add insult to injury, I'm reading this little excerpt from a uh, from an article, and it says Twitter CEO: One solution Twitter is exploring is to surround false tweets with factual context. He also said an exception generally would be granted to Trump. Let me read that again. One solution Twitter is exploring is to surround false tweets with factual content. He also said an exemption generally will be granted to Trump. So basically what it sounds to me like what J Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, is saying is that no one else can post false tweets. Not that they should anyway, but people are going to do it because of social media. There's a lot of lies that float around it anyway. But should they, be, should they post anything, we'll ban them. But when it comes to 45... And all of his rhetoric will let him pass because he's the president. Though these are his words, I'm not making this up. These are his words in his from coming from his own mouth. He had a whole interview with Lester Holt and everything. Like he literally just shot himself in the foot when he when he made that particular statement. So it lets me know that he probably is in the back pocket of 45. He's probably a Trump supporter. This is not a good day for Twitter right about now. And I use Twitter a lot to like push my, you know, videos out there because I have a I have a, a pretty decent following on that site, on that app. I have, I've been on Twitter since I was in college, since I got my very first smartphone, as a matter of fact. But yeah, like this is this is not good 
a good look on your part, um, Jack Dorsey. You are going to probably have a lot of people that's going to run away from your site. And I wouldn't be surprised or shocked if they did. I wouldn't even be mad. You want to get rid of like just regular people, but you want to keep people like Alex Jones around. Just put them on a timeout. And then you want to only enforce your no false tweet policy on certain individuals while giving others like 45 a pass. And he posts a lot of false tweets all the time just because he says fake news to a lot of these media outlets. And then he tries to masquerade and uh, his stuff as being true doesn't mean that his shit is true. Shoot, with some of the stuff that I be posting on Twitter, I'm surprised they didn't come after my damn account. That's probably why I had so many fucking stalkers in the goddamn place that tried to get me off of there. I mean, I have even had people, as you, as y'all saw, stalking me, trying to get me off of another platform. Like they tweeting me on Twitter to try to get me off of YouTube. Well, we got them off of Twitter when we got a hold of that IPS. Um, sorry, that um, that um IP address. But yeah, I I know some of y'all, my subscribers, probably don't use Twitter. I can tell some of you probably don't. But for those of you who do, just let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, about this particular story right here. I said Twitter is like, if they're going to do this, they're slowly transitioning into YouTube. And I would not be surprised if a lot of the Twitter accounts that they're going after are black Twitter accounts. Like, you know, ones who talk about the stuff we talk about or, you know, things that pertain to the um, black community. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links to the PayPal and Patreon will be down below. And I'll talk to you in the next one.